So it is back up to the start now for the A-final of the men's eights. The last race here at the World Rowing Cup 1 in Varese, Italy. The blue ribbon event for this event. Over in lane one, we have Romania. This is the under-23-8 from 2015. The juniors from 2014. This is Russia in lane two. Relatively new combination bringing together athletes from the four, the Cox pair, the double. Netherlands are in lane three. A number of these guys were world champions in the four from 2013. Italy are in lane four. Again, a relatively new combination. Poland in lane five. A very well established date. They've been together since European Championships back in 2009. And completing the field, Italy two are in lane six. This is the under 23 8 of last year. We'll be very quickly into this race. <laughs> And we are underway with the A final of the men's eight here at the World Cup 2016 from Varese, Italy. Pressure for the Italians to deliver in this race. They uh, didn't manage to beat the Dutch yesterday, but uh, closest to us, we've got the Italians with their new stroke man, uh, Domenico Montroni, of course. Vincenzo Abignali is currently not rowing in the Italian squad because of that uh, missed drugs test and third strike and you're out. Big blow for the Italian team. But uh, this eight, well, perhaps they might do better without him. We'll see. Two Italian crews in this race. We're looking at the second crew, the younger crew over there. But it's the uh, crew that we want to see in lane four. The Italians just there, neck and neck. This is a Polish, though, that we're looking at, who are starting to push up the field. They've strode out a little bit earlier than the others on the water. Um, and with that, they're getting great length and starting to get a tiny bit of a lead, but there's nothing to choose between them and the Italians on their left. So the Poles moved to uh, Filippi this year from their traditional Empacker, and they'll hope that carries them through to the Olympic qualification. They need to go through that regatta, and uh, we're looking at the effort put in by the Polish power man there, Mateusz Walangowski. So He's men so traditional to see the Poles do well in the eight, but uh, at the moment they are really struggling for the Olympic qualification. So we seem to have lost the Russians off the back of this pack and forging ahead Ru Romania, Netherlands, Italy won and Poland starting to pick out a lead here. Moving up the field now though, the Dutch are contending for the lead with Poland. They've lifted their rating ever so slightly back up to 38 in this second 500. Quick race always in eight racing and this is the Italian boat in lane four looking pretty good for a medal position here if they can stay on terms with Netherlands and Poland. The Italian eight also got to go through the qualification regatta. I know they've had a great time in Pierre de Luca up until that virus went through the team, so perhaps they're suffering a bit from that. But uh, the Mark Enker coach, Dutch eight, they are going to be in the Olympics. They qualified with that uh, fantastic bronze medal in the World Championships. Pete Wearsome, the Cox, just urging his crew on. They look cool, they look hard. They, they look Pete. really good there. Robert looking in the stroke seat there. They're striking 37, and that length is really starting to help them build that lead up to a canvas over their nearest contender Italy on their right hand side the Italian Coxon who you can just see the back of him there um, Enrico Daniello will be calling for more and more as we come through the thousand the Dutch are starting to pull out a bit of a lead they've got a canvas on Italy and they're starting to push ahead on the as well Italians are closer than they were in yesterday's race for lanes, but the Dutch do look much smoother. We had this kind of uh, contest in the men's four, didn't we, where you had the really smooth Americans and the high-rating Italians. The Americans just held off, but uh, the surge from the Italians, oh, look at that. The Polish three-man, he's looking up to the sky, Rock Fusch. He doesn't want to look straight down the boat, he's in pain, they've got to turn it on. I, I'm, I still don't want to discount the Russians just yet. In their preliminary race, they came back out of nowhere and rode through Poland. And we may well see that happen here today. So we can just see them in lane two at the top of the picture. 
starting to get back into this race and maybe drawing a long level with Poland. This is Italy, though. They were second in the preliminary race, a length down on the Netherlands, and I don't think that gap's going to be anything to look at, judging by this. There's only a canvas in it now. What do you think with the beards of Montroni and Agamemnon at stroke at seven in the Italian eight? That's definitely a fashion, isn't it? You're growing a bit of a beard this year as well, well, I mean, the Italians, maybe that's helping them. They're closer to the Dutch than they were at this stage yesterday when these two crews raced it out. The Dutch and a comfortable victory over the Italians. It's not going to be like that today. The Italians have just lifted their rating. They're up to 39 strokes a minute now. Bauman having a quick look across, going through 1,500. Still only really a canvas in it, but here comes Russia, really moving up the field. They're drawing level with Poland. I think that's going to be a solid battle for bronze, and there's going to be a solid battle for gold between Italy and the Dutch. Mike Spracklin has said the Russians have got to step up. He wasn't happy with the fifth place for his eight of the Worlds last year. He wanted them to medal. That's why he's changed things around. This Russian eight, we don't know if we'll see them at the Europeans. As you say, Pete, a mixture from the smaller boats last year, but they're coming back into contention. But I think the smoothness of the Dutch crew has just got the edge on the Italians. It does. 300 or so metres to go, and they are starting to really pull out. They're still at 38 strokes a minute. Italians have picked it up now to 41. They're going for it. I think I think their coxswain, Daniello, has called for it because they're now closing that gap back down to a quarter of a length. I don't think they've got enough chance to do it. I really don't think they've got enough water. I think they will try and close. You look at the effort on the places. Giovanni Abagnale in the bow seat coming through. They can hear the calls from their home crowd. They're really giving in everything, but the canvas is a long way in ace racing. And there's only 60, 70 metres to go now. There's really nothing to choose between this, but this is going to come down to the line. It's the I length. think the Dutch are going to do it's it. It's the length of the Dutch. It's the smoothness. And the, they've just got longer to, time to push in the water. And they've still got another gear to go. You see the Dutch use their other gear now. 10 metres, and there we go. Dutch take the gold medal. Italy, silver, and clinging on to the bronze medal. What a race from... Poland fighting off that challenge from Russia. So it is a gold medal to the Netherlands in a time of 5.42.72 ahead of Italy and the delight of the home crowd at a silver medal 